Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another gorgeous morning here in North Naples. Blue skies. A little fog out there on the horizon. Low tide right now. Wow. Temperatures, oh, right around 60 degrees. There's Roy making his way down the beach right there. Water temperature is 69. There's one of our osprey swooping down for a fish. Did you see it out there? See if he goes, see if he catches it. It's got its eye on something circling around. It's hard to see that little dot there. Yeah. He's circling around out here. Let's see if he dives down into the water. He or she. Well, I see the water swirling out in front of me too. Dolphin right straight out there. Right straight offshore, there's a dolphin swimming around right out there. See him, just came up over there. Must be a lot of fish out there. Where'd he go? It looks like he's making his way south. So he comes up again. Stand under for a long time there. There's a pelican. There's the dolphin right there. Just kind of hoping it would come in closer to shore here, get a better look. It's probably going to surface over there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it there. Just popped up again. How cool is that, huh? I think there might be two of them. I saw the water swirling over there. So those, the dolphin just swim up and down the beach here. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. It's great to come out and start my morning seeing a dolphin. Love it. That is all the way over by that column there, that post. There's Roy down the beach there. Out on the sandbar, you can see it's really, really low tide here. I don't know what all's out here. I haven't even. I was so excited to see the dolphins swimming out there this morning. I haven't been checking the beach for shells yet. Let's see what all is out here. Absolutely gorgeous though out here. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue sky again this morning. I hope we got audio now. Boy, look at all this. All, see all the shells out here on the beach? Here comes our Terry, our ranger. He's out making his morning rounds there, checking the beach. Look at all these little shells down here. Wow. What could be down there? Let's walk down the beach a little further. Get out on the sandbar. I'm hoping the dolphin will turn around and come back. We have 
a family of them out here, a family of dolphins. They got a baby with them. We can, that's seen on occasions. They put on quite a show for us too sometimes, jumping out of the water. There's part of a whelk shell down here. I'd love to find a nice big whelk shell. There's a piece of one. I think low tide was about 15 minutes ago. So it's already turning and starting to come back in. There's a nice little cockle shell down here. Boy, that's a really nice cockle. Beautiful cockle shell. Got lots of them here on the beach. Lots of, yesterday I saw lots of uh, Florida fighting conks. I see one over here crawling along the sand. I think he's crawling. I think he's alive down here. Let's see if there's anybody in there. Sure there is. See him in there? The Florida fighting conch. Beautiful little shells. Of course, we don't take anything home that's got a living animal inside it. You can see his foot right there by my thumb. The Florida fighting conch. As the tide comes in, it'll just scoop them up there. They'll be fine out here on the sandbar for a little while. There's another one over here, a little bigger one. Yep, somebody home in there. There you can see his foot there, that little curved piece there. That's what they use to push himself along the sand. There's our buddy. Hey, Jennifer, how you doing? Super you. Oh, look at that. He's, Just what you always wanted. He's missing his arms. <laughs> the nine arm sea star. That one's probably, what do you think, about six, six arms, six and a half arms. <laughs> yeah. I think he's alive yet, hard to tell. Oh yeah, he's alive. See his little, see his little feet moving out on the ends there? Oh yeah. You can see his feet. Yeah, he did move on the beach there. For a ways. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you see him, see him, he's starting to bend his legs now. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, getting man. really active now. My gosh. Just so he doesn't bite you. Yeah. Like that octopus. The nine, he gave did you me. see any more of them out there? No. Yeah. Well, here you go. You gonna put him back in the water? Mm -hmm. Of course. That's well, how you been, Rob? Good. There's that's our friend Jennifer Ann, everybody. You see her. You, you won't see her making comments right now because <laughs> she's here at the beach with us. <laughs> good morning. Oh, it's good. How about you, Roy? Everything's wonderful. Yeah? And a glorious time in life. You staying at it, keeping yourself, staying out of trouble there? Oh, working at it. <laughs> <laughs> How was the farmer's market yesterday? Hey, it was great. Got a go bunch of good... Uh, Honey bell oranges. Oh boy, they're sweet. Honey bells? Oh yeah. yeah, those are good. Yeah. Was it very crowded up there? No, oh, not too bad. No. But I was too late to get all my smoked salmon. Somebody else uh -oh. kind of got there ahead of me. I, There's they, a disaster. I told Ron about how good it was, and I think he beat me to the, <laughs> to the salmon man. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, well, again, he said he'd save some for me next week. Well, I'm gonna. I want to walk along this the beach here a little bit, but I want to come back and I want. We haven't heard that harmonica for a while. Oh, I got it down with me. I didn't, you better get the dust off of that thing. Yeah. Get the cobwebs out of it. Okay, I'll play you a little yeah, tune. Yeah. Have a couple harmonica tunes and have a little chat. See what yeah. we can come up with Can't this morning. Can't beat that. Yep. I'll let <laughs> you and Jennifer there finish your walk on the beach. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you up by our All right, chairs. I'll see you in a little while. Good show, bro. All right, see you in a little while. Good show. Bye. Bye, Jen. Bye. So let's see, anything caught in this little tidal pool over here? 
a lot of times this, these little pools, you know, between the beach and the sandbar, some pretty neat things get caught in here in between the tides once in a while. There's another one of our biting conchs. Ooh. It's nice to see these alive. We do find a lot of the fighting conch shells on the beach. But we also find a lot of live ones out in the water. Just put him back there in the water. You can see how they, let's see if there's a conch over here. There's a little conch right there. See him crawling around right there? That's a little baby fighting conch. See it right there? A little baby one. And over here, what is this? Part of a five-arm sea star. Boy, this guy's seen better days. But here's a Here's a good look at how they, they regrow their arms after they break off. See the little tips, the new tips starting to grow? This is a five-arm sea star that lost three of its arms. That's kind of, you know, a self-defense mechanism. If something gets a hold of them, the arms just break off. Kind of like a lizard's tail. But you can see how they grow back. See, this one's starting to grow back. I don't know how long they take to grow back. Definitely alive. You can just see his little feet moving around down there on the bottom. So we'll just put him in the water here. He'll be fine when the tide comes in. Let's see what else we can find as we walk. We're walking south here in area four. A lot of times we can we find a lot of little sand dollars, little baby sand dollars here. Sometimes you just scoop up the sand and you'll get a handful of them. I'm not having any luck here. Nope, I'm not seeing any sand dollars right along here. But we do have sand dollars at the beach here. Absolutely gorgeous out here. This is where Bill probably finds some, some of his shark's teeth too. In this shallow water here. I would love to find one shark's tooth. Just one. Oh, what's that? There's something over on the beach. Might just be a clump of seaweed or something. Yep. Just a big clump of seaweed. Every once in a while, you know, you, when you see a piece of seaweed here, if you pick it up, you get lucky, you shake it out. You might find some cool little things inside it. Little crabs, maybe a little baby seahorse. Nothing in that one, though. Boy, the water feels great. 69 degrees, but it feels great. The water is warmer than the air temperature. So well, that's nice. Now here's, here's a fighting conch buried in the sand. That's normally how they you find them. See, you can just barely see it there. That might be an empty shell. Don't know. Yep. That's an empty shell, so you could take that home as a souvenir. That's an empty Florida fighting conch shell.
and just the tip was sticking out. And that's how you find a lot of shells. You'll just see a, a tiny, tiny piece of them sticking out of the sand. So you really got to keep your eyes open. Especially you know, when they're not alive, they'll just get buried in the sand. Oh, looks like, looks like a dead horseshoe crab that I saw yesterday is still here. I was thinking it would kind of wash away in the changing tides. And it's not, yeah, it's definitely dead. It would, its legs would be moving all around if it was alive. That's sad to see. That's a good look at the underside of a horseshoe crab. There's the front of it. It's two eyes. You don't want to step on those. I'm surprised the birds haven't gotten this guy. And a horseshoe crab. You find a lot of horseshoe crab shells on the beach here. They actually shed their shells. So when you find the empty shells, it's not dead horseshoe crabs. This is a dead one, sadly. But a lot of times when you find the shells, they're just, they just shed their shells. Put it up there so somebody sees it and doesn't step on it in the water. Saw another, saw a little fighting conch. Yep. Just another empty shell over here. Now let's see what else we come across here before I turn around and head back up the beach. Get out a little further onto the sandbar. The tide's already starting to come back in. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning out here. Gonna go chat with Roy. Have him play a tune or two on his harmonica. It's been a while since we've heard that. That was a surprise to see Jennifer Ann out here this morning. Walking along the beach with Roy. Well, I don't really see much of anything on the sandbar here. Did see a lot of shells up on the beach. Isn't that gorgeous out there? Look at that sky. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky. This is what living in Southwest Florida is all about, folks. This beautiful weather. Look at that. Look at that sky all the way around. Wow. It's gorgeous. clear the water is. Isn't that nice? There's a cockle shell right down there. See it down there buried in the sand? A lot of times you'll find, we have, when you're out on the sandbar, you'll find a live cockle. It's just half a cockle shell, half a cockle. Beautiful shells. You gotta have one or two of these in your shell collection the cockle shell. That's a look up the beach from, oh, the south, this is the south end of area four. That tree up there, that's where the osprey nest is. Boy, it's beautiful. You can see all the condos all the way up along Bonita Beach and Estero, all the way up to Fort Myers Beach this morning. Nice and clear. 
probably about 63 degrees now, maybe. 64. Starts warming up fast once that sun pops up over the trees. Just look how gorgeous that water is, though. Sun reflecting the reflections on the bottom there on the sand. So I'm just slowly making my way north. Let's see what we have here. Looks like maybe an olive shell down here, a live olive shell. Let's pick that up. Yeah. Beautiful olive shell. And it's got the, the snail inside of it. That's a live olive shell right there. See if I put it in my hand if it'll come out and crawl around. Let's see if he comes out of his shell. It comes out of its shell and crawls around. Here it comes. You can see one of its eyes there. Come on out there, buddy. He's like, where am I? This doesn't feel like the bottom of the ocean. Isn't that cool? Those olive shells are so neat. <laughs> you see, see his eye on the end of that tube there? Cool. I'll put him back in the water. You know the routine. We never take anything that's alive. There you go. Does that feel familiar down there? <laughs> Hey, hit that share button. Let's get some, get your friends in on the action here. Make sure you let everybody know where you're watching from. That's so neat to see where all, all of our friends are during these live feeds. I love the interaction between our viewers. We're just starting to become one big happy family out here. Sorry, got, got interrupted by a phone call there. Sorry about that. I was saying how much how fun it is to see everybody commenting back and forth here, introducing themselves. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Another beautiful Saturday in paradise. I'm assuming there's audio this morning. Just walking in this water with the little waves, it just feels so nice. Water's nice and clean. Well, I'd love to see a dolphin come swimming up here. <laughs> we saw one offshore first thing this morning. Saw him a couple times. He surfaced a couple times as he was swimming south. He or she. <laughs> I love seeing those dolphins. Oh, 
Oh, here comes a dolphin. Another dolphin out here. Somewhere, I don't know. Oh, he's right out here. Where'd he? Okay, where'd he? I saw a fish jumping out here in front of me. Where'd he go? There he is, he's out there. It's kind of far out, right out there. See him out there? Two of them. There was two of them out by that post. Let's see if they surface again. They're all heading south down the beach. Let's see if they come up again. There's one. There's the other one. I don't know if you can see him. They're right out in there. They're pretty far away. We've seen them come right up to shore. I've gotten some great video of them along the shore. You gotta scroll through my videos and find that. Here, let me get back in to the wide mode. They're making their way south. They're pretty far from us now. Maybe they'll be back. That was funny. I was just talking about them and they popped up out there. We get closer to the shoreline. See what we come across. You never know when those dolphins are gonna come swimming by here. If you spend a day here, you're, I guarantee you're gonna see dolphins out here. No ifs, ands, or buts. Another one of our little fighting conchs down here. Such beautiful shells, these conch shells. Somebody home in there. Put him in the water. Anything out here on the sandbar? A lot of times you find those live olive shells out here buried in the sand. Some, a lot of times you, know, you can find some nutmeg shells out here. You just gotta, see here's a little conch. It's hard to, hard to tell that's a conch. See, when you turn it over, there it is. Little baby fighting conch. They just bury themselves in the sand. I don't know what these things are. Always, always see these along. They're like strings of shells all connected together. I have no idea what those are, or what makes them. They're pretty neat though. So much area to cover here. I mean, we got shells all the way up on the beach over here, you know, all the way out into the water here. It's really hard to to look to look everywhere. Like, what am I missing? I know I'm walking by tons of great things here. But oh well, just to be able to walk out here, that's a blessing in itself. Whether I find a, a special shell or not, or whatever, neat specimen of marine life, it doesn't matter. Just being out here is a blessing. Seeing the dolphins, that's always a treat. Seeing our friends out here, chatting with Roy. 
always a blessing. It's fun seeing Roy. He's always got a smile on his face. He's always got such a positive outlook on life. He's got it going, 93 years old. He knows the secret. It's all about being happy. As he always says, enjoy the journey. That's all you got to do. Remember the positive things. Forget about the negative things. The past is the past. You can't change it. So many people worry about the past. There's nothing you can do about it. Worry about today. Worry about the future. Little Sam Piper there. Where you going, bud? I'm not gonna bother ya. It's camera shy. <laughs> so I had to get a new new phone yesterday upgraded from my iPhone 7 s to an 8 plus i don't know if it makes any difference i mean i it's got pretty much the same uh camera inside it i don't know if the image quality is any better it's a little faster the processor and it also has a lot more memory what i'm going to be able to do now is i'll be able to download the video from these live feeds before i repost it onto facebook in a little higher resolution and then I can put it on YouTube with a link so if you want to watch a little better quality of this video it will be available on YouTube so that's a plus hopefully that's gonna work I don't know what the limitations are on the lengths of videos and things like that there's a piece of a cockle right there there are so many little shells along the beach here there's a big cockle right there, part of a big cockle shell. Man, there are so many little tiny gems down here. Here's a piece of a sand dollar. We got lots of sand dollars out here. Here's just the corner of a sand dollar. It's these little shells. When you look you get down on, you just bend over, stoop over, bend down, start looking at these little shells, and you're gonna be amazed at what you find. I mean, they are beautiful. And the more you look, the more you're gonna see. It's, it just amazes me. I mean, little slipper shells, like there's a little tiny slipper shell there. Covered in sand, hard to see it. But look at all these little treasures. Just beautiful. And I have found little tiny moon shells, shark eyes. I mean, it's smaller than my pinky nail. Just mixed in with these little shells, little teeny tiny whelks. Look, here's a little tiny scallop shell. There's a worm tip, a wormy tip. We find a lot of these wormy tips. Or actually, no, that's a shell. I thought that was a wormy tip. That's a shell. Whoops. There's a worm tip over there. You can see how they kind of look similar. Or maybe they're both, no, those are both worm tips. I'm having a hard, yeah, they're both worm tips. Yep. Tips of worm shells. There is a ton of little shells here along the beach. And it's not only shells, there's neat rocks, you know, stones. You can find some nice um, oh, fossils along the beach here. You never know what you're gonna find. Lots of fossilized shells on the beach.
Isn't that cool? Well, a lot of cockle shells out here this morning. This is pretty cool, this cockle shell. Look at this cockle right here. It's got like a worm shell starting to grow, it looks like, inside of it. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's the inside of a cockle. Quite a few cockles on the beach this morning. There's another one right over here. Anything inside of this one? Nope. That one's chipped up a little bit. Wow, there's a pretty scallop shell over here. The way I was laying, just caught my eye. Wow. The, look at the sun. The sun was just shining through that like that. Isn't that beautiful? Little scallop. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous shell. Also coral, we got coral out here. Here's a neat piece of coral right over here. That is an interesting looking little chunk. That's pretty cool looking. I don't know what kind of coral that is. I'm, I don't know my corals. I only know the finger coral. That's pretty cool. Boy, lots of little worm tips out here. Sandy needs to come out here and collect all these worm tips. She's got a project. She's making something with these little worm tips. You, know, you all met our friend Sandy. You've seen her out here. Sandra. There's a little tiny chunk of worm rock. That's just a little piece of worm rock. You can find some nice pieces of this out here. That's just a little tiny chunk. But it's all over the place, this worm rock. Okay, here's another little piece. Another piece over here. It's all over. That's a nice little piece right there. See if we can get it in focus. Going at it on his harmonica down here for us. He's hamming it up. Just gorgeous out here. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it's. Oh, somebody stepped on it. It was a nice big scallop and got broken. Hey, I hear the shark tooth hunter bug coming up behind me. Right, What'd you find? Only one today. But it's the one last already one. today? Well, this is the last four days. That's four days. Whoa, look at all those sharks. Teeth. That's in the last four days. I haven't had a chance to put four them Four days. That one you found yesterday. Yeah, that was yesterday. That big yeah. one. Yeah, wow. yesterday. That's four days. You... I've got, I don't know how you see these little tiny ones in the water. That you just look, just, you look for the shape. Yeah, that is amazing. Well, that's four days supply. I think they caught one of the sharks those came out of the other day. Yeah, but see the one they got down there? And that guy got a fish down there the other day. It was 46 inches. Wow. That thick. Wow. Should have seen the thing. I was out yesterday afternoon. The guy caught a bonnet head shark and a black tip yeah. yesterday afternoon. Yeah, they were catching a lot. Of, they've caught a lot in the last uh, two weeks out here. Yeah. This warm weather has really yep. brought them into the past. Yeah. But that's why they don't want you swimming up there. I'm not going up there. <laughs> Stay out of Area 5 Beach. But we take him. He'll be in three times today. Oh, yeah. It is just beautiful out here today. 
The only thing he doesn't like is we have to walk about 40 miles, and when we get out there, there's a guy speaking Spanish. <laughs> right. Says, I think we've reached Mexico. <laughs> the guy greets you with a margarita. <laughs> yeah, we know we're <laughs> in Mexico. And a big sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But he's doing great. Oh, yeah, he's loving it. This weather is perfect. Yeah, and we're going to be up to 90 next week. 86 tomorrow. I know. It's Crazy. Like 90 on Wednesday. Crazy. We'll take it. Mother Nature forgot what time of the year it is. You got that right. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. You too, Bill. Good luck there. Oh, let's keep walking along here. We'll get back here with Roy in a little bit. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Look at that. Piece of a moon shell here, a shark eye. Boy, that was a big one. I would have loved to have found that. Look at the size of that. Part of a whelk shell over here. Two beautiful shells, just pieces of them though. A whelk and a shark eye. Again, just pieces of them, but those are beautiful shells when you find the whole specimen. Lots of broken shells out here today. There's another broken whelk, it looks like, over here. Piece of a whelk. Boy, that one's turning into a fossil. Very, very, very neat, the things you find here. I saw a really nice worm shell here. Let me back up, see if I can spot it again. I wanted to grab it. Where was it? There was a nice big worm shell right back here somewhere. It is just funny how you see something and then you go back to look for it and you can't find it. Darn it, it was a really nice worm shell. Where did it go? It was right in here. Piles of worm rock down here. That's Roy in the background. Darn, I don't know where that pair it is. It's a great worm shell. Look at that. That's a great specimen right there. It's got the tip and a lot of the shell on it. Very, very cool. I'm gonna keep that. Something else down here I'm gonna keep. It's right next to a worm, another worm tip. I love these little conch shells. Love finding them when they're empty. I'll keep that one. Oh, Sandy, lots of worm shells out here for you this morning, Sandy. There's a big piece of worm rock. Big scallop shell over here. Oh, I think I see a little shark eye. There's a nice big scallop. Here's these little shells. You gotta keep your eyes open here. Where'd I see? I swore I saw a little shark eye over here on its side somewhere. Oh. See those waves come in and push them around. Where did it go? There was a little shark eye here. Might have been just a piece of one. Doggone it. Yeah, it's just a piece of one. There's a little one. See? You can find, they come in all sizes here. A little piece of a shark eye shell. Roy's, Roy's warming up. Don't wear yourself out. We're going to get back up there. Roy's going to play a couple songs for us on his harmonica. We'll have a little conversation. I just want to go down the beach a little further, checking out all these little shells. There's some really neat, neat things in these little shells. That piece of a worm shell there. Isn't that cool?
Big scallop over here. One of the black scallops. Cockles everywhere. Look at, these are all cockle shells right here. There's three cockle shells right there. A great, great little more. Another piece of a shark eye. Lots of broken shark eyes, but that's the eye of the moon shell, the shark eye right there. Come on, we gotta find a whole moon shell here. Boy, they are everywhere. I can't believe people don't spot these. Look at this, here's a little tiny one. There's a whole one. That's almost got a blue eye, almost a Paul Newman maybe. That's a whole one right there. There are all kinds of little gems along the shoreline here. Another crazy looking worm shell. I gotta straighten up here for a minute. Give you a look around the beach. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful morning here. This is paradise. Up in the 80s, the temperature's just been crazy warm for this time of year here. Crazy, crazy warm. Oh, Roy's putting on a show back there. He's singing. Awesome worm tips out here. Awesome worm shells. Sandy, if you're watching, Area 4 is just full of worm tips this morning. You bring a bag down here and fill it up in no time. Oh, another little conch. I love these little conchs. I, I keep, I have a lot of these. They're so neat. What do we got down there? Piece of abandoned tulip shell right there. Part of a banded tulip. I'm gonna throw a couple of these worm shells in my pocket for my friend Sandy. I know she's got a little project she's working on. You can see they come in all sizes, these worm shells. Whoops. That's an old whelk shell right down there. Not much left of it. Look at that water. So calm out here this morning. The beach is still relatively empty. Great morning to come out here, spend the day. It's gonna get nice and warm. It's beautiful. We saw a few dolphin. They're kind of off far offshore this morning, but we did see a few swim by earlier in our my live feed. Another piece of worm rock, a little bigger piece than we saw earlier. That's yeah, such cool stuff, the worm rock. I'm just so intrigued by all these little shells. People are not, are just walking by all the little jewels, the little gems. There's a fighting con, nothing in it. You could take that home as a souvenir. Another worm tip over there. Just saw a big turkey wing. There's part of a lightning whelk right there. A little conch. There's a nice little lightning whelk right there. Actually, that's not a lightning whelk. That's, I forget the other kind of whelk. It's got the opening on the other side. And there's a little conch right next to it. Here I saw 
I saw a big turkey wing shell here I wanted to show you. To our newcomers that haven't seen the turkey wing, where'd it go? It was a nice one. But now I lost it. It's just crazy how you see something and then you can't find it. But these, this is what's just amazing this morning. Cockle shells, everywhere. Cockle shells are all over the beach this morning. Beautiful shells, the cockles. Darn, I wish I could find that big turkey wing. And here are ospreys screeching. They're just above me here. Right up there is the osprey nest. Every once in a while you'll hear them calling out. We'll do a little more shelling here, then we're gonna run over and chit chat with Roy. Well, there's a moon shell. Now that is so cool. See, that one's upside down. So is it gonna be a whole specimen? See it right there? It's gonna be a nice specimen. There's part of a tulip shell right next to it. Part of a banded tulip. Right, let's take, pick up that shark eye. Yep, it's in pretty good shape, a little pitted. There's a shark eye. See, it was upside down, so nobody spotted it. Pretty cool, huh? Let me wash it off, get the sand off it, give you a better look, get some sun on it. There you go. There's a nice little shark eye. It's got a little tiny pit there next to the eye. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Come on, focus. These are such beautiful shells. One of my favorites. The whelks and the shark eyes. Another beautiful shell, beautiful shell is the scallop shell. There's a really nice one there. That's a beautiful scallop right there. There are all kinds of little treasures buried along. Here's another little shark eye. This one's got a hole in it. Looks like the top of a tulip shell over here. Yep, that's the top of a banded tulip shell right there. Oh, let me straighten up here for a second. I could walk this beach slowly like this all morning. Look at that. So peaceful out here and beautiful. Boy, there are a lot of whelks, a lot of conks. Here's another whelk shell right over here. It's not a perfect shell. This one's kind of broken. Oh, it's a lot broken. There's a lot of whelks along the beach. Lightning whelks. Just gonna go a little further up the beach and I'm gonna turn around quick. We're gonna go see our friend Roy. Our visit to the beach isn't complete until we chat with Roy. There's a turkey wing. It's not the greatest turkey wing, but a turkey wing shell. You find a lot of these along the shore. Another big scallop shell over here. You can tell the scallop by those little wings down at the base. See, it looks like a fan. Kind of looks like the shell from the Shell Oil logo. 
All it needs to be is yellow. <laughs> well, there's a neat little piece of worm rock right there. Look at that. That's a funky looking little piece of worm rock. That is so cool. I hope you enjoy these beach walks. I wish I could come out here more often, but the winter time down here is our busy season for video production. So I can't come out as often as I do in the summer. There's a nice little, another nice little conch shell right here. A little baby fighting conch. Got to take some time and go through my photos and videos. It's mostly videos and photos that were taken here at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, but I do have others. I do get away from here once in a while, but it's mostly this beautiful beach. This is like my home away from home. I love this place. I'm only five minutes away from here. So it's really convenient to come out here. Well, I don't know where I'm at with this new phone on the battery. I don't want to run out of batteries before I talk to Roy. But I'm just like a little kid in a toy store or candy store here. Something's right offshore here in front of me. A dolphin. Right up on right up to the shore. See that water swirling? That's a dolphin. See him just came up just offshore. See him out there? Two of them, the mama and the baby swimming side by side right out there. Right next to each other. See if they come in closer. Where did she go? There was the baby. There was the mama and the baby just came up. See if we see him out there. Try to keep up with them there. You see them out there? Over there? That's the mama and the baby dolphin. I don't know where dad is. A lot of times you'll see, oh, three, four, five dolphins swimming along the shore here. Where'd they go? They're getting away from me. That's the third sighting this morning. That was great. Where'd they go? They're out there. Oh, coming in a little closer. Did you see it right there? See, there was the baby. That was the baby that just came up. Fish jumping. See him right out there? That's the mama and the baby. Come on, come in close to me. Everybody wants to meet you. Where'd you go? Here they are. See that water swirling around? That's, look at it right there. Look at him going after the fish. That's the mama. The baby's staying offshore. See her right there? Beautiful. Thank you, mama, for giving us a good look at you. She's gonna make her way back out to the baby. See the baby swimming back there in the background? You just see the fin sticking out of the water. Maybe they'll come back in, at least the mama. There's the two of them. You just saw the two of them pop up. So cool. Mama and the baby. Yeah, isn't that something? It's so fun watching them. 
They might come in a little closer to shore here again one more time. Let's just follow along. Keep your eye on them. They're making their way north along the beach. I don't know if you can see them out there. I hope you can. Ooh, just the baby just stuck his head up out of the water. I wish I was out there with him. That is so cool. There's some kayakers coming this way. A lot of times they'll interact with the kayakers. Sometimes they'll interact with the kayakers. Let's see if we can see them out there. The kayakers are going towards them. Well, with the baby, they're probably the mama's a little skeptical of the kayaks. Yeah, see, they stay under. I don't know where they went. They're staying under. Ooh, they're over here. They just came up over here. They're staying ahead of the kayakers. See them over there? They're making their way back down the beach. We get out of the wide mode here a close second. See if we can see them still out here. Kayaks are getting close to them. There you go. They're just in front of the kayaks. There's the baby, just came up. The mama. That is so cool. That was the baby. Wow. Is that not cool? What an awesome morning. What an incredible morning. Now they're making their way back down the beach. Maybe they'll come close to shore again. Now oh, they're turning around. right in between the kayaks. And they're just passing the red, behind the red one. That is so cool. And they're back behind the red kayak over there, jumping around. A lot of times they'll come right up to the kayaks and play with the kayakers. That is so cool. What an awesome treat to see those guys. We are so lucky. Isn't that cool? They go. All right, we got to get down and see Roy. He's going to play that harmonica for us. What a wonderful morning we've had. Beautiful shells out here, beautiful weather, great people. Everybody's just out here with their cameras taking pictures of the dolphins. Look at it. Everybody's thrilled to see those dolphins out there. What a gorgeous morning. Found some awesome shells. Probably find a couple more on our way back here as I head back towards Roy. Our friend Jennifer Ann was out here this morning hanging around.
just gonna be quiet here for a few minutes as I walk south on the beach, let you take in the wave sounds. So just enjoy the sounds of nature for a few minutes. morning. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this morning's beach walk so far. We're coming to our climax, my morning conversation with Roy. He's promised us a few tunes on his harmonica this morning. That's always a treat. We haven't heard that harmonica for a while. That harmonica, harmonica, harmonica. Boy, lots of folks shelling out here. great morning. Gosh, we got to see those dolphins. That was a real treat. There's Roy over here. Roy and Jennifer Ann. Roy, Roy. Jennifer. <laughs> Warm rock. Yeah, it's all over this morning. Yep, yeah, that's pretty cool. Those are nice pieces. That's a neat one there. That's a really neat piece. Yeah, that was all over the beach this morning, huh? Yeah. yeah. Hey, that old dolphin that came right into you there, huh? Yeah, the ma mama and the baby yeah, dolphin. That's what I thought, two of them together. That was so cool. That's <laughs> I got to see him three times this morning. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, they were going right along the shore. I was hoping you saw them. I, you were too far for me hey, to holler. Hey, I'm going to sit in Jennifer's chair. I got a chair to sit in here. That, <laughs> usually I'm squatting down and I can barely get up when we're done talking. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh thank you, Jennifer. Jenny's chair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so let's hear something on the old harmonica here. Did you get the cobwebs out of it? Well, it just fell into the sand, so we got uh -oh. a little sand in the reeds. That's all right. A little we'll sand. See how it's, maybe it will improve the sound. What you do you never think? know. <laughs> Play a beach tune. <laughs> Yep, that yep. Full of sand. A little sandy reed there. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Come on, get that, knock that sand out of that thing. <laughs> you got your phone with you, Jennifer? Where's Jennifer? should take, I don't know, would the water hurt it? That's the Shake it out in the water? I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, let me see if I can Salt rinse, water, rinse yeah. it out in the Give water. It a big swish. Yeah, here. Let's, Jennifer, you got your phone with you? Yeah. Tur turn your phone on, show Roy what, what we're doing. He's never seen what we're doing while I'm doing it. Now mm -hmm. you can see what I'm doing live on her phone. This is technology, Roy. I won't, I'm gonna, See if I can get the sand out of his harmonica here. He was had some really sour notes there. See if we can, hopefully it won't ruin the harmonica. Right, have him rinse it off in some fresh water here. <laughs> I don't know if we need it worse. Or better. <laughs> that didn't sound too good. Let's see what I did to Roy's old honer. <laughs> now we're gonna have to shake it out here. A little salt water. So there we are. We're live, Roy. You see that? Yeah, Look at yeah. there's you. <laughs> you see yourself on yeah. her phone there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a little here. delay. I was down there rinsing this Let's off. See how the salt water works in this thing. Yep. <laughs> I think they're out. Get it? It's not full of water. There you go. Might get a mouthful of salt water. There you go. Oh, <laughs> I think it might be in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, I think I don't so. Know. I wonder where it went. Maybe it's just full of water. Not there. Oh well, all the rest I hope of them are coming break through. It, darn it! <laughs> hey, look at that neat. Jennifer just showed me that nice shell she found. Oh yeah. An apple. That's called the apple murex. Goodness me! It's great. She's gonna make a put it on a necklace. Oh boy. That's a nice little shell there. Uh -huh. Part of an apple, apple murex. Apple neat. murex. Yeah. That's a nice little find, Jennifer. Thank very, you. Yeah, very cool. I saw you dancing behind me <laughs> when Roy was playing the harmonica.
<laughs> they just love going off there. <laughs> oh, the old ship. <laughs> that must be your, your was favorite song, huh? Sad when the great ship went down. You always wind up on that. <laughs> to the bottom of the husbands and wives, little children lost their lives. It was sad when the great ship went down. Well, that was quite a concert there. How about in the good old summertime? We had our concert. Did we have the good old summertime? Yeah, we did. You can play it again if you want. Rolling down the one, shady lane. One more, one more song. We give them, we give them our, we give them music. How about the sidewalk of uh, the tour of Laura Laura? No, you did we that one quite a few what times. What was that? A, oh, How about the, the uh, bright shorts along the garden walk. The coral bells. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's part one. Wow. We've had we've had our music. Now we need our sermon. <laughs> it's time for Roy's sermon. I don't have any sermons. Yes, for you it. do. It always <laughs> it always turns into one. It's great. Sermon. We find something to chat about. Well, when you talk about sermons, we got a sermon from the great Creator and His Son, and the sermon is is love and forgiveness. Yep. And they're the most wonderful marvelous things in this whole wide world isn't that the truth and the amazing thing about the forgiveness when you forgive somebody else it comes back and you feel better because you're you're get you're rid of the resentment yep and so you actually when you forgive someone else you're helping yourself you, you certainly you are help yourself to feel better you certainly are it and, feels good to give isn't that amazing yeah. i mean but don't do it for selfish reasons. No, no, no. no you but give when you give. You give unconditionally. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you know when you give, you do it unconditionally. There's no strings attached when you give. That's a good thought. You know, and that's. I think you're the you're the philosopher. No, you're the philosopher. <laughs> I mean, unconditional love. You've heard of that, haven't you? That's so wonderful. That you love no matter what Glor somebody glorious. does. You love them. It's all part of the glory of life. Isn't that the truth? And it is glorious out here. And we're giving the free, given the free choice to enjoy it, and yep. be part of it, and to be loving and forgiving. Amen to that. And helpful and creative and. It's, it's, you know, it all comes back to it's what you make of it. You know, it's up to you to isn't that to right? do it. You know. God isn't going to do it for you. He's going to He's going to give you the tools. He gives us the ability. Yep. But you got to well, know what to do. We got to do them. the job. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> a lot of people never take the tools from them. They don't accept it. And they just flounder around here on this earth. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it takes us a sometimes it takes a while to accept that. Some people I was kind of, I was kind of stubborn, especially in my younger years. Yeah. You know. I think the older you get, the more it makes sense. Maybe it's because we're getting closer to meeting them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do have thoughts along those lines. Yeah. <laughs> the older you get, the more you start wondering, hey, maybe there is something to this religion. and what is It, it doesn't well, hurt to believe, does it? It, it makes you feel better. Yep, it <laughs> certainly does. No question about that. I mean... Instead of just thinking you're going to clock off and that's the end of that, yeah. you figure you're going to see your loved ones and see your mom and your dad and your grandma and grandpa and have a but big, you know there's a jamboree. And there's there's so many believers. Obviously, there's got to be something to it. It's not just a handful of believers. No, they're not. Everybody believes in something. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh boy, we're so blessed, Rob. Just his life is so glorious, isn't it? Though, and friendships are, friendship really makes it. You know, like a friendship with you, and I don't want to go too deep into it, but have you've seen the news, right, about that shooting in the school? I did hear about that. It, I it's just watch terrible. Those I mean, things like this are happening more and more in this world. Well, I think the government should get cracking. Apparently, he used an automatic rifle. Now, 
It's all right to sell guns for hunting, but you don't hunt with an automatic rifle. Well, so why why it's was it not an he automatic? It was a semi-automatic. Well, whatever it was, I don't think it was legal for hunting. You can make them automatic. I don't think it was a legal instrument yeah, for hunting. I don't hunting. want to get into that whole thing. Well, there's I'm... no reason to sell arms except for hunting. Otherwise, they're for killing somebody. Well, I. And, well, that's what they're for, exactly. That's what and, they're for. And there's no reason to have those be able to be purchased. Whatever. I believe you have the right to protect yourself. So, yeah. I mean, that's how our country was formed. Well, do you protect yourself with a sidearm? Uh, Not if it, what if a guy comes at you with a gun like that? Concealed sidearm? Well, now, what, what, what? There is no solution. I mean, it's a big circle. I mean, bad guys are going to get guns. Yeah. No matter what we do, they, sh they shouldn't we can, be able to legally. Get and if them. and if we don't give them guns, they're going to find something else, to, a way to do it. Sadly, they use cars, you know, trucks. It's it's terrible. What's happening in this world now? There's just so much killing and violence, and it's and I don't know what's causing it. Some people some people think it's the media. It's the yeah. these guys trying to get their their 15 minutes of fame. Go out and do this. Yeah sick isn't that sick they're obviously deranged yeah i mean i wonder if drugs have a lot to do with it i mean it's like one you know one bad apple spoils it for everybody i mean it, it, that's how it happens all the time and it, and there is there's just no solution it's like what i like to do though rob is to concentrate on the positive and the beautiful there you go i'm aware that there are these horrible situations available and and that the devil is lurking That's and some truth. people are are joining the devil but but i i want to join Live. god and the beauty beauty and the wonder of it and not dote on these things yeah. i'm unfortunately aware of them but i i'm not going to think about them and contemplate them. There you go. I want to contemplate the beautiful the positive, beauty and the wonderful the positive, and the positive and the worthwhile, the positive. worthwhile and constructive and absolutely. So that's my thought for the day: is forget for, the bad and th and concentrate on the don't, good. Not forget yeah, it but, exactly, but it, push it away in some far don't, distant right. corner of the closet where you don't <laughs> right. you don't think about it exactly. There you go. Let other people do that. <laughs> well, fortunately, sure fortunately, we, we have professionals that that do protect us, and that bless yes, we the, do. the police force and the army and the navy and all the air force. All these. And God all bless these them. I'll tell you what. People that are protecting us from aggression and, and enemies and evils, and so we can come out here. Yeah. So we can sit here at the beach. So we can be safe. That's why the police, I, I bless them, I, I like seeing the police. They got a horrible <clears throat> job. They got a big job and they're doing a good job of it. And so many people don't respect them. Right. You know, it's even school teachers. I mean, they've got a, a very hard job these days, don't school they, teachers. Though? I mean, they, <clears throat> they have their hands tied behind their back as far as the discipline goes. They're not well, allowed that's, to do Yeah, anything. they should still have the hickory stick in the... I believe that too. Yeah, I a mean, good, what's wrong with a that? A good butt whooping goes a long way yeah. in education. Huh. I'll tell you what, I got my butt whooped many times. <laughs> yeah, I did too, and I think it's very good for a person. Absolutely. I think I think part of the problem is some of these parents need a butt whipping, <laughs> not the kids. Maybe it's because they never got one of themselves. It isn't part well, of the tradition I know anymore. A lot of them, I know a lot of parents that did get, you know, disciplined, you know, got spankings, and I don't know... It's just become a thing now. People don't want it. Well, the big their problem kids. is the safety. The problem is safety razors. Because now that we have safety razors, you don't have a razor strap in the bathroom. So, <laughs> I was wondering what the so you don't have the razor about. strap to whap you with. Uh, and there's wooden spoons. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you get whapped with a razor strap, you really know you've had it. Believe me. <laughs> My dad used to have a razor strap too. In the old days, you know, they had the straight razor and they had to go zip, 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 zip to sharpen it before they shaved. Yep. But oh, the, yeah. I got it. My mother used to hit me with a wooden spoon. <laughs> a big with, wooden spoon. With a wooden spoon? Yep. 
That's a good one. And the good old fashioned belt would come off. <laughs> Dad's belt. That's right, with a belt. Take <laughs> off get, the belt. Yeah, you knew you were, when that belt buckle got undone, you knew you were <laughs> deep You doo -doo. got it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They didn't need the razor strap, they had the leather buckle. Yeah. Leather, leather belt. Yep. Man, that crack. Whew, that'd sting. <laughs> it's, well, it was more the sound of it, I think, than actually getting yeah. hit by it. I mean, your parents really never hit you hard, but <laughs> I suppose that's illegal the now. The parents could be. Oh, they'd probably in, be in jail. Indicted. Absolutely, they go to jail for child abuse. Criminal assault. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's why. That's why they don't do it. That's why things are like the way they are. I suppose. You know, everything you do now, you can go to jail for it. <laughs> We could probably go to jail for sitting here on the beach talking about it. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> no. As long as we don't have indecent exposure. Well, we, we won't talk about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just keep your drawstrings tied there. Right. <laughs> oh, boy, I'll tell you. It's beautiful, Rob. It is. You know, I think you're going to see those dolphins again this morning. I think they're going to come back here. Yeah, they were quite They're a few pretty active coming this by. morning. So yesterday when we were talking, my phone, the microphone broke, was broke on my phone. Oh, really? Yeah, so I had to go. I got a, this is a new phone I had to go get yesterday. My gosh. Yeah. How'd so, that get busted? I have no idea. It just wore out. I think I had a friend of mine I was driving and he spilled his coffee a week ago and I think it got in the microphone on my phone. <laughs> and it was kind of intermittent and finally it just pooped out and stopped working how about that so i never said anything to him but i'm gonna tell him he owes me a new phone now yeah <laughs> well these phones are crazy they're you know seven hundred dollars for you're a phone. kidding yeah but they have different plans where you don't pay that for them and yeah. it's all it's all about perception you know they put a value on it so you think you're getting something it's what does it cost them to make this in China? 25 bucks. <laughs> I don't know. They all got computers in them, yeah. apparently. But I mean, it's just so inflated. I don't know how they can make those computers so small. It wasn't that, that many years ago. The thing was tremendous. I still got Audrey's old computer in her office there. Good Lord, there's a huge box on the, on the, on the floor. There's a tremendous box that big. That's how the computers were not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, they say, what was it, like the old, the lunar landing module, the yeah. LEM, whatever, that thing, the computer technology that that had in it, at one of those little calculators that we had back in the old days, had more computer technology than that lunar landing module. Good Lord. I mean, that one of these phones is... I mean, this is more powerful than the, any of the first computers that came out. Just these phones that you hold in your hand. What's amazing to me is how that phone can store that immense amount of data. Yeah, I know they say it's all electronic. Well, that's interesting, yeah. but how the devil does it store those intricate things? Millions and millions of it. You can go back into storage. I don't know if there's a limit to the storage. Well, not only does it, it doesn't store a lot internally, it's all stored on the internet, on computers that that, ac that it accesses through the internet. Oh, is that how it goes? Yeah. They call it the cloud. It's everything that is stored on the cloud, which is a, a server, which is another computer. But it's all you know, wireless, wirelessly connected to the cloud. Well, this cloud, I don't know how that stores everything. Well, they're massive, massive computers. Well, and it's not just one computer, they're all over. It's a huge yeah. thing, huh? It's it's mind-boggling when you really start to think about it. It's beyond my ken. That's everybody for sure. just thinks every their information though they think it's safe on the cloud, but the cloud can can break too. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. It's always once you start saving things on computers on hard drives, you always want to make sure you have multiple copies of it. You know, on a, on another hard drive because they do fail. You know, the computers don't last forever. Just like my phone. <laughs> the only thing I know is we used to, in engineering college, we had a slide rule. Uh, yep. You could tell an engineer he had the slide rule hanging on his belt in a little leather yep. case. 
Yeah. And uh, beyond the slide rule, I don't understand it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> At least you didn't have to use an abacus. The slipstick, <laughs> the slipstick worked. There you go. I remember that having, I, my dad had one of those. I never had to use it. And the calculator, you had a the adding machine, you go bling, 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 and you pull, pull the lever, handle. Yeah, pull that handle down. Yep. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> that was some technology. <laughs> it's amazing how far we've come in such a short period of time. Yeah, it's just our lifetime. I mean, your lifetime, you have, technology has just exploded in your lifetime. Yeah, it really has. In 93 years. I yeah. mean, we've done it all. We've gone, gone from horse and carriage. Well, you know, yeah, the interesting thing is space the, shuttles is to wonder what's, what's going to happen from now for the next hundred years. And I mean, it, I know it gets gonna, faster and faster. You know, and faster. 90 years from now, people are going to say, hey, remember those dopes back in 2018 when they used to blah, 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 <laughs> When they're they sitting on the beach with their phones. Yeah, they didn't know this and that, and they didn't have this. Yeah. I mean, what's going to be in another 100 years, and they could look back and say how how stupid we were back I mean, in 2018. The only, the only thing is, hopefully, mankind makes it another 100 years. Oh, sure. Yeah, the rate we're going, I don't know. I don't believe any of that, Honda. Uh, I don't know. Hell no, we're we're Some, here. We're all it takes is one hopefully stupid person. Hopefully, here to stay. Hopefully, <laughs> the next the next big step is going to be interstellar. Say, won't that be something? You know, going to other planets, other galaxies, and and and, uh, and seeing the other life. Yeah, won't that be something? Yep. But you need an interpreter because how could you chat with a Martian if he didn't speak Oxford English? <laughs> He must be English is a universal well, gonna, language. He must. Have, they must. There you go. English. They must have got that note. Yeah, I mean, how can you Absolutely. do any? They got that memo. Interstellar trade without English. English is a trade language. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. That... I know. I called China one time. I got up at midnight, and I had some business deal, really? and I wanted to talk to some Chinaman about it. And I figured the guy'd get on the phone, go. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> right. he, he answered the phone and he spoke perfect Oxford English. Really? Yeah. Well, there Isn't you that go. amazing? He yeah. was a Chinaman. Well, over, that's a... In, over in Peking or someplace. Wow. Over there. A lot of times you call to get help with your cable or something and you don't understand what they're saying. Oh, those guys all got a big accent. Yeah, you usually hardly... it's like India or something. Yeah, and you, you have a hard understand time understanding what them. what they're talking about. Or they're called trying to sell you stuff. Yeah, or trying to swindle you. <laughs> swindle you. They got a it. big accent, those swindlers. Oh, yeah. They got you, huh? <laughs> I've been swindled, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy what these people do. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a great chat. Yeah, we covered the waterfront pretty yeah, well. Yeah, we did. We even got up into the cosmos. We did. I can't wait to get up there. That's going to be fun. I don't think we're going to see that, but... I don't think my kids will see that, but I'm sure. I mean, they are. You know, they're they're having private. You know, private companies are putting rockets up into space now. Is that and right? It's getting closer and closer to buying a ride on a spaceship. I guess you can do it now, but it costs a yeah, few bucks. A, yeah, it's a fortune. And I mean, I don't. I don't think you. I mean, you don't get outside of. I don't know how how high they go. I don't know how deep into space they go. I think they just take you up and you orbit, maybe do an orbit and come back, which would just be fine with me. I don't know if I could, well, you if know, I'd be able to handle it. I but. thought about this whole moonwalk thing too. Oh yeah? I mean, I think that was nice, but I mean, what was the benefit of it? Just to prove we could do it. Well, I mean, why? I think there's the other reasons too. Huh? I think there is other reasons. Well, what I think, are the other reasons? Well, I think our military has reasons for doing things like that. Well, yeah, but uh, for for defense and all that. But what is walking on the moon or looking at the moon got to do with with a national defense or with anything other than to say that we did it? Colonizing it, putting weapons on it. Oh, I mean that's you know our governments think thinks way outside of the box. I mean, there's stuff that the government's doing that we have no clue they're doing. I mean, and we don't need to know. Well, that's what I'm curious we about. We don't need to know that. 
I'm curious That's about That's what keeps what, us ahead of the bad guys. I mean, the whole space thing is interesting. That's another thing about yeah, it. Other it than for national defense, the rest of it is just for curiosity and furthering our awareness well, no, of what's going on. Well, because when they go up into space, they do experiments that you can only do in, you know, this space environment now. You know, in the zero, in zero Gs and everything, they actually are, are working on cures, you know, new medicines. Well, that's things. what I'm curious about, exactly you know, what a, is the benefit. You know, they, they're doing experiments when they're up there. It's not just going up and so they're medical floating around in a spaceship. Yeah, they're doing all kinds of things. Well, I, well, I'm curious about what the all kinds of things are. I mean, there's, yeah, there's a lot. I don't, I can't tell you off the top of my head. But here, you know but, what I mean? Instead yeah. of just thinking it's just yeah. for curiosity. No, I, it's far beyond that. I'm they're actually up there the, developing things while well, they're up that, there. That's they can only be developed or can be developed ideally in that environment. Well, you, we can get zero environment right here on Earth, can't they create it somehow or other in a in a big box or something? Because I think they train these people right here on Earth. Well, they the, put you in a centrifuge. Yeah. But they, the, the zero G's is done in an airplane. They, you know, they take a jet and they fly up high and then it just goes straight down. And that's how they get the, the zero. You can actually do that. You can buy rides on that plane. Uh -huh. The Russians let you go on theirs. And I don't know how long it lasts, but the thing just dive bombs straight down and you float around in that period of time. Does it come out of the dive bomb? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe if it's Russian, there could be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> they, oh, could, they could have some ulterior motive. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to leave everybody with that thought. Let them wonder about what's going on in the space shuttles and the rockets and satellites. Well, and it'd be, I, I think it'd be interesting to know what beneficial effects all that expense and uh, yep. effort is. I'm curious about it. Well, but inquiring minds. You see what I mean? Know. Yep, I see it's, what you it's mean. It's not that... Um, it's our money. It's our money yeah, they're using yeah, to do all that stuff. And I'm wondering what the... What the I'm sure there's some worthwhile effects, but I'm curious what they are, that's all. There you go. Curiosity killed the cat. Maybe some of your Facebook <laughs> friends or know what's going on and they can let me know. I'll have them give you a call. That'd be good. All call, right, Roy. Call me from outer space. I'll call Donald Trump and have him find out what's going on. <laughs> Everybody's mad at him right now. <laughs> All right, Daddy-O, it's always good seeing you. Yeah, we have some pro profound there you go. Conversation. I don't know if we changed anybody's lives, but you change, you make mine better sitting here talking to well, you. That's you for make sure. mine a lot better. I don't know if I make anybody else's. I think you do. I think it's a national. I want to do one. I want to do one last thing. Where's Jennifer? Is she out here on the beach. See if anybody's left here watching, or if we ran everybody away. Where's Jen? Hey, Jen. Jennifer. I want, I want you to hold your phone up for Roy. I want everybody to send him some love. Hey. Uh, let's see if we can, it's a little bit of a delay. What's the deal here? We're gonna, I'm gonna get everybody to send you some hearts here. Now there's a little delay from when I'm recording to when you're seeing it. What are they sending me? You'll see. They're starting to come across the screen now. You're seeing it. Love, everybody that's, people that are watching. See the hearts? Oh my God. See all the hearts coming across Woo! there? Holy Look at them. Hearts. Let's keep those hearts coming. See all the hearts coming across there? Oh my gosh. Look at them. Talk about hearts. That's your friends that love you out there, Roy. Boy, am I blessed. Oh, am I blessed. <laughs> oh, what a blessing. Tell you. We are all blessed. That's really something. That is sweet, isn't it? Oh, thank you, I folks. I can't believe it. That Thanks is sweet. Everybody. Thank bless you, Jennifer. Bless you. Bless you, hey, you guys have a great day, Roy. Yeah. God bless. Jennifer, God bless. You too. Tally ho. Tally ho. Woo <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, see you in outer space. There you go. See you in outer space. What a beautiful day. Wow. All those hearts coming across for Roy. Thank you, folks. That
He just made his morning. What a gorgeous, gorgeous morning in paradise. What a difference from when I first started. Lots of folks out here starting to show up. Lots and lots more people. When we started, there weren't too many people out here this morning. Look at it now. Wow. We got to see the dolphins this morning. Found some really nice shells. What a great morning. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to tell all your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time, check out all of my photos and videos. Share them with your friends. Make sure you like Southwest Florida Television. Where our ospreys are sitting up there in the tree above Roy. Look at that beautiful blue sky this morning. Absolute paradise. Hey, have a great weekend, wherever you might be watching from. I know we got friends all around the world watching us. That is so neat. We got a great community going here. Thanks for interacting with each other. Thanks for sending all the love to Roy. He really appreciates it. I hope you enjoyed our little conversation. I try to stay off politics. That's not what this is all about here, but every once in a while we venture into it a little bit. But by no means do we want to get any big political discussions going here. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.